Hello, and welcome to Upcycled Art with Renee. So today I'm going to be working on a piece for my friend. Um, she gave me some of her grandmother's old jewelry, which is pictured here, which is awesome. So I'm going to incorporate that into this art that I'm making today. So everything I use is upcycled from th antique stores or thrift stores like this lovely frame here that I'm about to take apart. I don't care about the picture on the inside, so I'm going to rip all of that out. And I took off the back and it has all these lovely little staples that I have to rip out individually. Here's the murder scene after I'm done. Took a lot of muscle. Um, so then I cut some foam board to size. That will be the base for this jewelry that I'm going to create. So look, it fits perfectly. Guess my measurements were correct. So here's what it looks like before I put the fabric on it. I chose black fabric. Black just makes the jewelry pop. But you know the fabric didn't just magically appear on there. First, I iron it because it is from a thrift store, so it's usually pretty wrinkled. Once I get all those pesky wrinkles out, I cut it down to size using my highly scientific measuring techniques. Um, the scissors didn't want to cooperate with me, but that's my fault. I need to get some better ones. This is my glue. It's the Fabric Fusion. I use it not only to glue down the fabric, but also to glue down the jewelry pieces. It works very well. And this is me smearing some glue on the foam board. You want to have a light coat, otherwise it sometimes will squish through the fabric depending on the thickness of the fabric. Now comes the fun part. So I need to incorporate some red uh, with the pieces that she gave me. So I'm looking through my red pile. Uh, my daughter helped me organize all my colors the other day. We made a short on that. And here is my gold pile. It's pretty big. So I'm gonna need different filler pieces to go with what she gave me. I'm looking for flowers, leaves, you know, something to make a bouquet with, because that's the look I'm going for with this. Here's what I pulled out so far. I always get extra out because I just never know what I'm gonna need. And it can get a little tricky when you work with different colors, depending on the shades and how they match together. Like this piece with the blue, might be tricky with the red. I love these flowers, this big one and the two matching ones I just got last week from an antique store. They are so pretty. And I found this blue piece in my collection that will match perfectly with this. Now begins the process of trying to lay it out in a way that I like it. It usually takes multiple times. So here's a few of the attempts. This is the final layout. I like how it turned out. Um, I used almost all the jewelry that she gave me to incorporate in this art, which is pretty cool. So now it's time to glue every piece down. So I'm gonna start with this big flower. Uh, the back, you can see every piece is gonna be different. You just need to find the flattest part that will be touching the fabric. Here comes the fabric fusion again. So for this flower, I'm going to put a generous amount of glue right in the middle because that is the part that will be touching the fabric. You want to make sure you put a lot because it will kind of soak in and move around a little bit. So there is a method to gluing these down, like this gold flower here is underneath a few other pieces. So that one will have to go down first. So the backs of each piece is very unique I just want to make sure I get the glue on the flattest parts, the parts that will be touching the fabric or touching other pieces. Sometimes I glue pieces on top of other ones. It just depends on the layout. Sometimes pieces are pretty tiny, so I'll use this little tool to help me get them in the right spot. Now I have all the pieces glued down. I need to work on the chain on the bottom. 
this can be a little tricky. You might have noticed all the tiny gold specks and lint that is on this fabric, but don't worry, I've got my handy dandy lint roller to clean all that up with. I'll get the rest before I finish it all up. So I've got the chains laid out like I want them. Just wanna make sure that they're sitting in the right spot with this bow that I'm going to put on top. I think it looks good. Now it's time to get gluing. I just don't wanna to put too much glue down because it does leave a little bit of a trail when it dries. So I'm putting just enough for the chain to cover over the top. As you can see, this glue trail was pretty wobbly, but once you get the chain on top, it's pretty forgiving. You can kind of straighten it up. All the chains are glued in place. It's looking pretty good. Now let's add that red bow. Here it is, everything is glued down. Now I usually wait about 24 hours for it to dry completely, and I'll check to see if there's any pieces that need regluing. Now I need to glue the piece into the frame, so I just run a bead of Fabric Fusion on the inside of the frame along the back. Once I get the piece in place, I put heavy books on top of it and let it dry overnight. I like to add pattern paper to cover the back and then I'll add a hanger to it if the frame I have doesn't already come with one. So here's the final piece hanging on the wall. I think it looks pretty good. This is the first piece that I made where someone gave me some of their family jewelry to add into and I thought that was really fun. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, obviously this is my first time to make one so bear with me. Hopefully I'll get better as they go.